everybody, Jason McMillan here with Keep Calm and Train Your Rookie. Going to talk about a few details with packing a hose bed. Uh, sometimes details do matter. Seems like on the interweb we hear constantly about uh, maybe once a week about a fire engine dropping the entire hose bed on the highway. Well, sometimes details do matter. We're going to talk about that. Here on this particular rig, if you look right up here, we have what's called a draft step. The draft step shields the ends of the hose and prevents wind from getting underneath there and flipping it up out of the hose bed. Here at the midpoint, we have just a simple ratchet strap that we put across here uh, to help contain the hose, keep it collared, and keep it here in the hose bed. But if you look right here, both on the uh, uh, static bed with our 5-inch supply line and our 2.5 static bed, we do have issues of these odd loops. And here, even on the pre-connect, these odd loops, if you're going fast into the wind, you have the potential for the air to get underneath, flip it out of the hose bed. A quick solution for this, this is called an under dutch. It's a variation of a Dutchman. What you do, you take the end of your hose, and you form that Dutchman. The end of the hose is accessible to you. The Dutchman, creates this continuous surface, there is no end to flip up and out of the hose bed. We'll do it here again on the pre-connect. And we're going to do it here on our supply line. The difference now you see is air that doesn't get blocked by our draft step here, it hits, keeps on moving, very aerodynamic. Hey, that's your fast tip. Thank you very much.